Well, here it is, folks, the first Super Tournament of the year, 2015, the 77th Todd of Steel Chess Tournament. Great action, great tournament, great world-class players. Don't miss any of the action. The story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. Hi, folks, John Cordisco back again. Well, here we are, the last round, round 13 of the 77th edition of Tata Steel Chess in Vikenze in the Netherlands. One of my favorite tournaments, favorite tournaments. Anyway, folks, this is between Levin Aronian, who needs no introduction. Levin's had a hard time the last year or so, but he's still a top world-class player from Armenia. And Lorin Ding from China, up-and-comer, over 2,700 rated. These young guys are coming up quick. Anyway, folks, let's get to it. Aronian's white, Ding is black. It's going to be a King's Indian. You know, starts out C4, it transposes. And here we go. E f E4, here come the pawns. D6. Well, gives an escape for the light squared bishop. Here is a space that black needs to control a little bit because if there's a push here, it can really disrupt a lot if that pawn is in there. So let's. Basic move in a King's Indian, Knight F3, castles, it's all standard stuff, H3, E5, now it gives a choice here. This is a decision, the first decision that a white has to make. Black has threat in the center, well, what do you do here? Do you push to D5, or do you take? Computer, computer likes take a little bit better. But I like the push. It's 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 more of a queen a king's Indian that way. You can get all kinds of crazy stuff going on, on the king side that way. Knight to h5. What he's going to do now? Typical king's Indian. If the pawn's going to come up, the knight's going to come back. G3. F5. Interesting though. The computer liked a5. Thought it was worth the shot instead of f5. In fact, I'm looking at the computer off screen. The three choices for a black are a bishop d7, a5, and knight f6. To put the knight back, which makes no sense at all. Anyway, Ding decided to go f5. Here we go. Typical King's Indian. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Now you see that a lot. These pawns are forward for black. The g pawn for black is gone. If Bishop had taken instead, what I think a lot of us would have done, including me, after g4, knight a6, pawn takes, of course, I don't know why the, the computer would even suggest that. I guess it's just showing the fact that taking with a, with a bishop loses a piece. Knight g5, put some pressure on. Queen e8. C5, and Aroni is going for it. And I do have to say, poor 11, it's a 14-player field. There's 13 rounds. Everybody plays each other once. And 11 is in ninth or 10th place. He's had a terrible time here. In fact, I believe he's the defending champion, if I'm not mistaken. If he didn't win it last year, he won it the year before. And my buddy Carl Nakamura has won it before, so has Magnus Carlsen. Anyway, Mike goes back to F6. I just don't like that knight sitting there if I was black. It's maybe it's just psychological. That knight sitting right in front of your king. Bishop b5. Queen. Computer made a suggestion. Bishop c4 instead. Then after knight to a6, knight e6. Bishop takes, pawn takes, knight takes. e7 check. Rook f7. Mm, you know, that's interesting. You're going to give up that e-pawn eventually for white. You're going to lose the exchange. I don't know. Maybe it's worth looking at. It's got about a point and a quarter advantage for white in that situation. But after bishop b5, queen e7, g4. I'll tell you, these guys are going for it. I mean, you're, you're, you're looking at maybe pawn takes. Pawn takes. Now this file is open. You've got to move these two pieces in order to castle queenside. So 11's just going for it. 
and I'm sure a lot of this is theory for these guys. Knight to a6. I don't think he's too concerned about that double pawn. Knight to e6. Right away. Bishop takes. Pawn takes. What to do? What to do? Instead of taking the e-pawn, black decided to take the pawn on c5. Now, this is something that computer likes g takes f5, which I think is a given, just to protect your pawn here, and at the same time pick up a pawn and have connected pawns here. But I don't know why Levin chose this. Maybe he just miscalculated. He played g5. And it went from a almost a point advantage for white to about a point and a quarter advantage for black instantly. It's almost a two-point swing instantly. G takes f5, c6, bishop d3. It says, the computer says, saves the game. But after g5, the knight has to back up. Knight to d5. Let's get that queen pretty hemmed in there. Queen takes the pawn, of course. B4 hitting the knight. Knight to e4. This is going to start getting complicated. Right now, black is up two pawns, two full pawns. I really don't see much of an attack here. I really don't. I don't know what Levin was thinking. Bishop takes. Queen takes. And again, round move 20 now for white coming up. I don't think Levin was in time trouble. Knight takes c7, of course, is the obvious move. Queen to b3. And Levin decided to go f3. And it jumped up. Again, on the computer, it's almost a two-and-a-half point advantage now for black. And then it looked like a bad move. Knight has to go here. Rook to g1. If instead, instead of rook to g1, if he had taken the pawn, after queen f7, rook to g1, f4. And that's pretty good for black still. After rook to g1... F4, submitting that knight in there. Knight takes c7, queen to e7. Queen to b3, check. King h8. Knight goes to e6. Rook over. And it's starting to look worse and worse for poor 11. Knight takes, king takes. Bishop b2. He's only down a pawn, but it doesn't really look that bad, but it is. It is. And I'll tell you, White's king is incredibly exposed. Granted, there's a pin here on the pawn. Big deal. Queen takes. Rook to d1. Rook a to d8. I mean, it looks terrible. 4-11. Rook to d5, trying to stop the advance of the pawns, I think. Queen f5. Where's the king going to go? Terrible. Moves up the king to d2. It's almost a three and a half point advantage. Just a little over now for black. Poor 11 is trying to hang on. Queen takes h3. King to c1. Now, here, think about this. You're 11 Aronian. You were number two in the world for a couple of years. And now you're down to eight, nine, ten in the world in less than six months. And here you are the last round, and you're in tenth place out of a 14-player field. It's got to be tough for him. It's got to be tough. And he had white today, too. Queen f5. Bishop c3. h5. Screws are starting to tighten now. King b2. Not much help is queen to d1 after queen to f6. That pretty much locks it up. King to b2, h4, here comes the pawn. Queen to d1. 
H3. Why isn't Levin resigning? I just, you know, it's funny. And, and I don't compare myself to Levin Aronian as a player, but human beings are human beings. And there's two parts of your brain when you're playing. There's a logical part of your brain that knows the game is over and you should resign. And then there's the emotional part of your brain that hasn't realized the game is over and you should resign. And when those two come together, that's when you resign. But he's obviously not ready yet. Queen to D2. Rook to D2 isn't really much help. Because then D5. Rook H2. King F6. And it's, <laughs> it's bad news. King F7. Got out of that pin. Rook E1. Queen F6. Love is just hanging on. Queen C2. Knight F5. Just slowly turning the screws. Rook D2. Rook G8. Here comes the other rook. Here we go. Queen E4. B6. Rook H1. He's desperately trying to stop the pawn, but it's, it's over a five-point advantage. He's down three pawns. Rook to H8. Queen to B7. Check. Queen blocks. Of course, you love to trade queens now, but he can't. Queen a6, knight g3, there we go. Rook comes up, rook d7, rook c2. I think Ding is making them making this much harder for himself than he should be, but rook to c7, maybe just Love is just trying to hang on. It's making it a little tougher for him. Queen d3, queen d6. King hides. Knight f5. Back again. Bishop d2. And here we go. Rook takes. Queen takes. Knight d4. Here comes the slaughter. Queen d5. King comes back over. What else are you going to do? He can't move anything. b5. Poor 11. Bishop c3. Queen takes. Queen to b1. Queen to g3. Rook to d2. Fire the pawn goes to h2. Bishop takes. Queen checks. Or queen checks the queen, I should say. Excuse me. Queen checks. King e7. He's done a queen. King c queen c2. Queen d5. And that's it. 411 resigned. Terrible tournament for him. He ended up in 10th place. You'll see after my last video the final standings. I don't want to put them up early because people will see who won before the game is played out. But anyway, folks, that's one of the games from around 13 of the 77th edition of Tata Steel Chess, the master section. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, one good thing, Ding was in the hunt till the very end, so he's playing for something. But poor Levin, I think he just wanted it to be over. And he really likes Vikings Day. He talks about it all the time. He's one of his favorite places. But maybe next year, Levin. So lick your wounds there, and we'll see you next time. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want you all to remember, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. Thank you.